Greetings guys, it's Stokegraft, but before I say anything, I quickly have to make a little apology as I didn't upload a video last week. Uh, but I had a good reason for it, as something drastically happened in my personal life. Uh, even some of you contacted me with the World of Tanks PM, asking me uh, why there wasn't a video last week. But anyway, that's out of the way now. Let's take a look at this game we have here, and the AMX CDC. And as we, have go as we can see... We don't have a very good matchup on our hands here. But as you can read in the title, this was the game for my second mark in the AMX CDC. I'm pretty new to the concept of grinding gun marks really because I previously uh, never had grinded gun marks before. Um, it all started with me 3 marking the Comet a few days ago. And then I thought screw it, let's also try to 2 mark the AMX CDC. And this was the final game that I had to try and get my second mark in because I was at 84.97%. So I only ne needed 0.03% uh, yeah, um, yeah, to improve to get my second mark. So I thought, okay, maybe around 2000 to 2500 damage will be enough to be able to get my uh, second mark in the AMX CDC. So that was my goal for this game pretty much. Even because the map isn't that great for the AMX CDC. And because the matchup isn't great, I still tried to um, yeah, reach my goal of 2000 to 2500 damage. And I thought, okay, from that position uh, that I was in uh, a few seconds ago, I wasn't really going to do much. So I thought, okay, screw it, let's go and support my heavy tanks here on this flank on Ensk. As we can see, isn't Ensk, what am I saying? This is Pilsen, yeah, but, oh. <laughs> I'm still a, a bit flabbergasted, everyone, but... Let's not focus up on that. As we can see, there's a mouse right there. I'm going to load some premium rounds, of course. Because the mouse has been drastically buffed this patch. And, yeah, it, it did need the buff, but perhaps it was a little bit too well buffed, maybe. But I quite like it. Anyway, as we can see, then I realized, shit, the mouse has got a quicker reload. And I need to pull back quicker there. But as I see that in that angle, I was never going to be able to penetrate the, the mouse. And I saw that the VK was, of course, turning. So I tried to put a shot onto his side. And I succeeded. This time I also uh, tried to just track the mouse, but it didn't work out. The VK is peeking out. He puts a shot onto me. And now my turret is stuck, everyone. And I do manage to flank this mouse, however. So I'm going to have to turn my whole tank around to be able to uh, put a shot into the back of the mouse. As we can see, there we go. <laughs> So, still loading some premium rounds. I thought, okay, screw this. I'm going to just uh, try and get my... <laughs> oh, that dodge. <laughs> I'm just going to try and get my 2k damage goal done. Because then I can focus up on the game. But uh, I really had to try and get my 2k damage. As we can see there, the T-34 manages to yeah, turn his turret around. So that I have some clear shots into the side of his turret. And I'll gladly, gladly take those, of course. So there's my 2000 damage goal achieved. Can we get to 2500 maybe? That would be nice. One more shot needed probably. So at this point I've realized. Okay I am probably going to get. My second mark already. So that was that was a bit of a relief. Uh, but unfortunately. We can see boombox. In which I'm in platoon with. But he uh, died a few minutes earlier. As he didn't really look at his map. Because the enemies had managed to flank around this side of the map. And he was right there. So unfortunately he died. Um, but he did help me out. And he says that there was a bad chat uh, on this flank. And as we can see there he goes. And there he comes. Luckily an E5 is going to try and deal with him. But I'm going to put a shot into that guy of course. I'm not going to let that guy uh, just drive around like this. We do want to get rid of this guy. Because this dangerous auto loader will be able to rip apart most of us. So it would be very nice to take down this guy. Not really sure what I'm doing right here. But, as you can see, it cost me the kill on the patch yet. I have no idea what I was doing there. Maybe I got called on Skype or something. I have no, I, go, I don't even remember. But anyway, I take it for what it is. I immediately load HE as I am engaging the Borsig here. So that's exactly what we do. <laughs> the enemy object 140 tries to put a HE shell into me as well. But luckily, he doesn't penetrate and shoots my tracks. Uh, and it enables me to get out of the situation. Mostly alive, as we can see. So at this point I think, okay, I can try to engage these guys from uh, the front as we can see. But this is not going, this is not a good engagement for the CDC. As we all know, this thing has got no armor. 
So what I think to myself, I'm going to make use of my great mobility and my plan is to flank around this huge building here in the middle. And I'm going to try and shoot the enemy from one of these doors that you're going to see me in in a few seconds. Because as we can see, um, I will have flanked the enemy and that will be far safer for me to engage those tanks from. So let's see if the enemy is expecting me. As we can see, I use my third camera mode uh, in my advantage. Now I go for the tracking shot on the Object 140. Very important there. Because, yeah, now that Object 140 is pretty much screwed, luckily. So there he goes. As we can see, this game is pretty close. So I don't really want to take too many risks. But as we can see, the SU has last been spotted on my left there. I don't spot them at the moment. But I think, okay, let's continue engaging these tanks. Now he gets spotted, but I decide to ignore him because I get an opportunity to kill the T-54 Mod 1. The SU actually misses a shot there over the top of my head. You got, I didn't even see it, but when I looked back the replay, I saw that. There we can see a nice tracking shot on the VK as well. And that man enables me to pick him up easily. So we've got 5 kills and 4.7k damage. Just an amazing game for a bottom tier yeah, medium tank. It's it, just great stuff right there. So I'm just going to go after this guy. But unfortunately my turret is damaged. And that doesn't enable me to get the side shot on the SU. But I'm going to go in full retard pretty much. I do want to pick up my top gun. That would be really nice in a bottom tier game. I just decide to go out. I take the kill. And we manage to win this game easily. So let's take a look at the stats. And see if we did get our second mark. Yes, we did manage to get our second mark on the Amex CDC. Luckily, because that second mark was haunting me for a very long time. Besides the second gun mark, we also did get a very good bottom tier game in my Amex CDC. And I am really, really happy with this result. 4.8k damage in a bottom tier game combined with a top gun. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did like the video, then please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay tuned for more World of Tanks content. I'll see you in the next video everyone. Take care. Bye.